Back now on CI Living, we're keeping it local, and it's time now for everybody's favorite segment that involves random locations around central Illinois and Joe Barney. And last time I blindly had that blindfold on, and I pinned the tail on Athens. Mm -hmm. So Joe, you um, said you were surprised at the history you found there. Yeah, well Matt, yeah, you would have loved being in Athens, but uh, I didn't know too much about it. And then I visited their Abraham Lincoln Long Nine Museum, and have you, Matt, Matt, have you I have not. It I, sounds like I need to go. Okay, well this is great, because I didn't know anything about that, and that was just one of the things I learned when I was on the spot in Athens. When I was young, I liked being around old people. And they always have stories to tell you, and cookies. <laughs> John Eden was born and raised in Athens. Several years ago. <laughs> At a young age, John learned about history from the people that lived it. There was a guy by the name of Harris, John Harris, and his people were connected early on in the 1830s to the very earliest part of Athens when it was still Sangamon County. He would get up and talk about the history of Athens tell about the, all the old events and different people, and he would point up the street and say, that old building up there is where the Colonel Matthew Rogers post office was. Lincoln picked up mail there. The words and stories stuck with John for his entire life. I get thinking uh, later on, why has this been neglected all these years? And you have these people around here that seemingly didn't really care to be blunt about it. But John and some others did care. In 1973, they opened the Long Nine Museum to celebrate Athens past and the many connections to Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln's connection was, his horse was stolen in Springfield. And at that time he came to Athens to borrow Mrs. Wilson's horse to run for the legislature the third time. He and Robert Wilson, who lived in Athens, was also elected to the legislature. They were part of the group known as the Long Nine, and they were instrumental in relocating the capital from Vandalia to Springfield. The Long Nine were called that because of their size. Their average height was six feet, which was pretty tall at the time. As you tour the building, it has a uh, displays, it has dioramas, they are audio narrated as you see each scene, you press the button and it explains the scene to you. Please continue your tour into the banquet room where Abraham Lincoln toasted the citizens of Athens and neighborhood on August 3rd, 1837. I enjoy just walking around right now, to be honest, and then viewing what I did, you know, or at least I was a part of. I've been involved with it as of 2012 for 40 years. I'm not one to beat my own drum, but I know I kept it going, and most people around here will agree to that. And I think, well, how, however it turns out, at least I tried, and I, I gave it all I had. Going back to the comment you said of as a kid you like to kind of listen to the older guys because they had great stories. Do you consider yourself to be now one of these guys who has great stories? No, no, you come, on, you come on over here with story, us. Sure, but I got the age. <laughs> Well, I can tell you his stories are incredible. So you definitely do, if you get the chance, go to Athens. And you would love it. I, so I, it sounds like I need go. to spend a little time in Menard County. Let's there you see. go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so where are we going to go next? Well, I think our producer, Nancy Foreman, is going to help on, Nancy. us. <laughs> she doesn't like to be on this TV. Is, this is Nancy. She absolutely hates it. Say hello, Nancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to blind her with the fantastic WCIA3 blindfold. She is excited. <laughs> Yeah, Hi, well, I don't know that that's the up? word for it, no. but okay. <laughs> okay sure. All right. Is that too tight? All right, you're good. All right, so now we're going to spin her around. One, two, three. Are you sick yet? <laughs> okay. 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 Nancy, I'm going to give you All a sharp right. object. Here you go. Oh, gosh. Here, put that in the tips of your, there you go. Okay. okay. All right, and so ba the, the board is straight ahead, so oh. go for it. Take about three steps. Yep. Yeah, well, you're farther away than Heather was. <laughs> One more. One more. Okay, okay. reach out. Now reach. Okay, a little further. 
<laughs> forward. Half, half yep. a step. Forward. Half a step. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, okay. Oh. So stick. Okay. Just push it. You can push it. You're it. Anywhere, fine. You got to push it. Okay. Oh, that's close. That's Philo. Philo. Oh, all right, right. Here, here we are. <laughs> Headed to Philo. So. <laughs> there we go. So, all right. So, if you have story ideas for Joe in Philo, come on back in here. What are we, do we don't yet. have anyone telling us rap rap in our ear right now. Oh, that's your job. Oh, there's Travis is filling in. Okay, we'll be right back. And be sure to send those story ideas to Joe.